Um, it's asking simple questions. Asking simple questions and explaining a little bit about what I mean when I, you know, guys, I want us to go out and do X in the market, develop new product, whatever it is, and here's why. Because I believe we can, and here's why. So it's constantly sort of giving people that insight into your brain. So three quick things you can do is ask other people to help me understand how you got to that decision. Help me understand is the most wonderful three words you can use with employees. First of all, they think you're listening to them. Hopefully you are, right? Um, you probably are gonna learn something because when we're asking that, it puts our brain into what we call a learning stance. It opens it to new information. Help me understand, very, very important. Here's what I was thinking second one that you can use. Here's how I got to this decision. Here's what I was thinking about this customer. Here's what I was thinking about how we should approach this. And what do you think? So again, these are things that take a matter of three seconds, 10 seconds to have that conversation. But imagine coming out of that the difference in alignment and engagement versus go do this. Where, and and I, I go do it. First of all, I don't feel good about going and doing it, maybe because they don't understand the why and how it links to success, et cetera. And secondly, my interpretation of what I'm doing is probably different than you, what you wanted me to do to begin with. So those simple phrases help me understand, here's why I'm thinking this. Right? Walk me through the data you have. Walk me through your thinking. That's another really simple, um, it doesn't create a defensive mechanism. You know, we're mostly defensive creatures because of our instinctual survival, fight or flight. So when I can say things in a way that don't trigger that defense mechanism, I'm much more likely to get a more productive conversation, a more productive answer. So help me understand, not help me understand, right? Tone inflection is important. Walk me through what you're thinking. How did you come to that? And again, it forces both you and the other person to assume a learning stance. It opens you up instantly because your brain doesn't know you're not really interested in learning. Right? Your brain is pretty manipulatable. So if I, can, if I can force it into a learning stance, it opens me to new data, to new ways of thing, seeing things, new ways of putting together pieces and parts. That's really what the core of innovation is.